Hi, I'm Dr. Shivani Chandan, consultant obstetrician and gynecologist at Aster Avi Hospital, Bangalore. Today I'm here to discuss a very important topic that is the human papilloma virus vaccine, the HPV vaccine. Cervical cancer is caused by this virus called human papilloma virus, which is transmitted sexually from person to person. Since we know that it is caused by a virus, vaccines are available and it, and it forms a primary prevention for cervical cancer. Now, there are uh, three different vaccines that are available. One is the Cervarix and Gardasil. Gardasil is, of, uh, again, two different types. The uh, one that is effective against four strains, quadrivalent, and nanovalent, which is effective against nine strains of human papilloma virus. The last vaccine has just recently come into the Indian market and is still not widely available. Now, these uh, HPV virus is also known to cause a number of other cancers apart from cervical cancer, such as vaginal cancers, vulval cancers, anal cancers, and certain genital warts, and also cancers of the head and neck. Since this virus causes so many cancers, it can be prevented simply by taking these vaccines. The, now, the Indian Academy of Pediatrics Committee on Vaccines advocates or advises that all children from the age, between the age of 9 to 15, are vaccinated against HPV by taking any of these vaccines. If they are taken below the age of 15 years, two doses are recommended six months apart. If this vaccine is taken after the age of 15, then three doses are recommended to be taken in a span of six months. Now, a lot of people ask that, you know, since cervical cancer is caused in the females, should the boys also take this vaccine? Since this virus causes other cancers, and also because it is transmitted through sexual contact, it is recommended that even the boys are vaccinated with this vaccine. Since I said 9 to 15 years, I also want to mention that it is advised to take it before your first sexual contact because the effectivity would be much better than if you take it later. Having said this, it does not mean that the older women cannot take this vaccine. This vaccine can be taken at any age because it provides some amount of protection even if you have already been exposed to the virus. Also, having taken this vaccine doesn't mean that you will not develop cervical cancer at all. So even after taking this vaccine, you have to continue screening through a pap smear.